Hi, my name is Mariana Lara, and the vitamin I chose was vitamin E. Why vitamin E? I have always been interested in dermatology. One of the most important vitamins for healthy skin is vitamin E. For years, I have been taking this vitamin, as well as including them in my beauty routine. When researching general information about this vitamin, I was truly amazed at all the roles it has in the human body. Here we have a picture of a woman using the, the vitamin as a beauty product. Roles of vitamin E in the body. In this, this vitamin acts as an antioxidant, which removes potential damaging oxidizing agents in a living organism that would be in our human body. Vitamin E also protects cells from the damage caused by free radicals. In the, in the body. Free radicals is, are, can harm cells, tissues, and organs. They are believed to play a role in certain conditions related to aging. aging. Free radicals damage cells and might contribute to the development of cardiovascular disease and cancers. This vitamin boosts the immune system to fight off bacteria and viruses. It can help the cardiovascular system it helps to widen blood vessels and keep blood from clotting within them. In this picture, you can see an oxidant, which the vitamin um, acts like it, uh, removing free radicals and protecting it from the healthy cell. The recommended dietary allowance, the RDA, for children, adults, and pregnant women is very different in ranges. In, ranges. in children, we can see recommended age uh, children one through three years old, um, the recommended amount is six milligrams. The amount uh, children ages four to eight need seven milligrams. Children nine to 13 need 11 milligrams. Children 14 to 18 need 15 milligrams. In adults, you, uh, we usually need around 15 milligrams of vitamin E. Pregnant woman was an interesting um, research to find out the RDA. For pregnant teens, they only need 15 milligrams. For pregnant women, they need 15 milligrams also. For breastfeeding teens, it's 19 milligrams as well as breastfeeding women, which is 19 milligrams. The amount of vitamin E depends. The amount of vitamin E you need each day depends on your age. The numbers listed about are recommended intakes in milligrams. All of this information is researched from data on July 19th, July 19, 2019. Nutrient deficiency. What is considered a deficiency for vitamin E? Deficiency for this vitamin is uncommon and typically the result of underlying condition. A normal range in a blood test for this vitamin E is 5.5 milligrams per liter. When an adult has less than 4 milligrams per liter of vitamin E in their blood, they usually require supplementation. The signs and symptoms of this deficiency is muscle weakness. Vitamin E is essential to the central nervous system. It is among the body's main ox antioxidants. A deficiency results in oxidative stress, which can lead to muscle weakness. Coordination difficulties. A deficiency can cause certain neurons, called Ferjinki neurons, to break down, causing difficulty to transmit signals. Cells use vitamin E to communicate to one another, which causes that coordination um, difficulty. The nutrient deficiency continued. Other signs and symptoms of a deficiency is vision deterioration. A vitamin deficiency can weak, weaken lighten receptors in the retina and other cells in the eye. This can lead to a loss of vision over time. Immune system problems. Some research suggests that a lack of vitamin E can inhibit the immune cells. May, uh, the name of the deficiency, because a deficiency in vitamin E is very uncommon, there is not a specific name. Vitamin E toxic, toxicity. I'm sorry. How much is too much? Vitamin E is unsafe if taken in high doses. The signs and symptoms include nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, headache, rash, weakness, 
blurry vision, damage to reproductive organs, bleeding, and this is the most common and serious side effect. Um, supplementing this nutrient can lead to toxicity. In babies, vitamin E may cause a life-threatening defect in the intestines called necronizing enterocolitis, which is NEC. Food sources filled with vitamin E. Number one is wheat germ oil, and it's one tablespoon, and it will be 20 milligrams. Sunflower seeds, which is one ounce and 10 milligrams. Number three is almonds, which is one ounce and 7.3 milligrams. Hazelnut, in one tablespoon of hazelnut oil, it would be 6.4 milligrams. Number five, it's mame sapote, which is 100 milligrams. In 100 milligrams, it would contain 2.1 milligrams of vitamin E. Number six, sunflower oil. In one tablespoon of sunflower oil, it would contain 5.6 milligrams. Number seven, almond oil. In one, one tablespoon of almond oil, it would contain 5.3 milligrams. Number eight, hazelnuts. In one ounce of hazelnuts, it would contain 4.3 milligrams of vitamin E. Number nine, abalone. In three ounces, it would be 3.4 milligrams. And the last one would be t pine nuts. And it would be one ounce. In one ounce of pine nuts, it would be 2.7 milligrams. The first picture is wheat germ oil. It has the most amount of vitamin E. The second picture is a Hispanic fruit called sapote. It is number five on my list. The third picture is number 10 on my list, and they are pine nuts. New and interesting research. As I was researching more in-depth information about vitamin E, once in a while I would see, the informa I would see information about how, how this vitamin can treat different long-term diseases. According to, the review, to a review, vitamin E is used as a treatment for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Reality or myth, it's stated. Vitamin E is a po potent antioxidant that has been shown to reduce oxidative stress in NAFLD in non-fatty, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has become a disease of increasing prevalence and a leading cause of more mortality and mortality closely related to cardiovascular disease, malignancies, and cirrhosis. Basically, those who have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can find comfort in knowing that Vitamin E can help as a treatment and prevent further process. In the picture, we have a healthy liver and um, a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is the right part of the picture. And you can see the difference between the healthy liver and um, the liver with this disease. Vitamin E can help treatment and prevent further process, further um, process of this disease. And these are my resources. If you have any questions, please feel, feel free to comment below. Thank you so much.